I feel like I look like the fat controller from Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Welcome to this week's vlog. This week I'm doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I am at home. This is the most requested video I get from everyone across the board. And today we're going to be doing a bit of a strange horsey uh, fashion shoot thing um, where basically I'm going to try on lots of my different showing clothes and just go through when I'd wear them, what to wear, what to wear when showing, and some of the biggest mistakes people make when getting dressed for the show ring. Outfit number one. <laughs> Weirdest fashion shoot ever. <laughs> so this is what I am gonna wear for this 2023 season with Donny. Literally no one has seen this outfit yet. I haven't ridden in it or anything. The jacket is from Le Bou Cheval. This was all custom made for me at Equifest last year. She literally takes the measurements and makes any jacket you want. You choose the tweed, you choose everything, like the heaviness of the tweed. I go for a very, very super light tweed and I chose the lining in this jacket as well because I am quite a hot person and I ride quite a lot of horses and do quite a lot when I'm at shows. Like at Equifest last year, I was riding like five times a day. I do not want a super heavy, heavy tweed. So Le Bou Cheval is a fantastic option. And I chose this check, here you go, the baby blue and the brown. Um, baby blue is like my favorite color of all time and brown goes with all the tack, looks super smart. Paired with a brown tie, which I got from a car boot for like 50p, tie pin. My shirt is also Le Bou Cheval with blue and white check and a white collar. Just looks smart, but not too much, if that makes sense. Um, and then I've got these sort of creamy yellow droppers from Picur with a full seat. I will only wear a full seat when I'm riding, I'm really fussy. Um, and these are just super, super comfortable. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear. Right, now I'm gonna talk accessories, along with what I would wear this sort of outfit what classes I would wear it for. So firstly, I will just go in to talk about um, the classes I'd wear this sort of thing in. To be honest, this is one of the most classics, classic, classics this look? Classic, yeah, you get it, classic look. So you could wear this pretty much in any class of across the board, bar, hacks, park breads, show ponies. And I'll explain why later. So this would be fine if you're on a coloured, on a cob, on a hunter. This is more traditional because it doesn't have the velvet collar, which a lot of jackets have. This is kind of more of the old school traditional look. The check isn't too loud, it's nice and plain, very traditional. Yeah, so let's talk accessories. Okay, accessory wise. So ignore the hair, the hair hasn't been styled to show imperfection, but we've got some brown gloves that match the tie. Gloves are a necessity in showing. You can be marked down for not wearing them. It finishes the overall look. And as a safety aspect, you should be wearing riding gloves anyway. So I've got my hard hat. Uh, I believe this is the Charles Owen Fion. Um, this is in navy. I wear this in all my flat um, show classes and sometimes in hand too. The only time I change my hat is for work in Hunter. And I generally either wear a skull cap or kind of like the, the hard hats without the velvet, if that makes sense, the ones that they wear for like show jumping and dressage, just because um, this hat has like a peak that comes down over my face slightly, and I prefer not to have a peak like that whilst I'm jumping, it is just personal preference. Okay, so to pair this outfit, I would use um, one of these brown number clips, these are absolutely fantastic. Even if you're gonna do a few local shows, I'd highly recommend getting one of these. This is in uh, the brown velvet, so it matches my outfit. Literally, when you go to your show, they give you a number card, pop it on here, clip it round so it's on your back, stays in place, comes in different sizes, looks super tidy, you haven't got a great big messy bow tied around your buttons, etc. 
So yes, and you can get these at most sort of showing shops like Show, show Pony Prep um, is one of them. I think Le Beau Cheval, Mrs. Candy, a lot of them do these. And uh, whip wise, if I was doing work in Hunter, this is the sort of whip I would use, which is just a brown leather jumping whip. And this is my flat show whip, show cane. Uh, this is a bamboo cane, does the same job. Um, it's just really old. And I've got a few sort of vintage style whips in my cupboard just because I like them. Right, I've now ruined my outfit slightly, which is a really common thing I see at local level. People just leaving a tie like this. It's just no top button done up. It's all fat. There's no tie pin. And they just look like a chav. Yeah. Um, so definitely, definitely make the F. Do your top button up. Do your tie properly. You're not at school now. And yeah, make yourself look presentable because I see this all the time. And the tie pin just gives it a lift here. Makes it look so much smarter than like this. Just looks rubbish. Um, yeah, so don't do that. Get a tie pin, do your top button up. Do it all properly. You can do it on a budget. You can just buy a shirt from Tesco, get your tie from the charity shop, whatever, like me. Um, but yeah, do it up properly. It just looks scruffy. Why go to all the effort of making your horse look perfect if you're gonna look a scrafter? Outfit two, we'll move on. So this is my second outfit and this one you should definitely recognise as this is what I wore all of 2022 for showing um, all my horses basically. Um, and this, the only real difference with this jacket, um, it's the same maker, is that it's got the navy velvet collar and the check is a little bolder. I don't know if you can see, it's got the orange and blue check in it. Um, I love these colours and when you're choosing your tie or the colours you're going to go for, always sort of go with a colour that you can pick out in the tweed jacket because it just pulls it all together. You don't want to be wearing like a jacket with blue check and then have like a hot pink tie. So just try and tie all your colours in together so it looks smart. Again, this jacket you can pretty much wear for most of the classes by the hacks the show ponies and the park breads. Um, the only thing I'd say with this jacket is it's not as traditional. With the navy velvet collar, um, it's a bit more modern um, and <clears throat> it's not so much, it doesn't look as good on like the hunters um, and the cobs that people tend to wear more traditional, just plain. Um, but there's nothing wrong with this. I love, love, love this jacket so much. It's so comfortable. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's this one. Yeah, what a look. So as you can see, completely different now. This is the kind of outfit I would wear if I was on a hack, a park bread, or a show pony. I think these three are kind of the only classes in which you would swap to navy. Um, this is what I used to wear on my park bread. Um, I, this is actually a side saddle jacket because I ride side saddle too <laughs> um, and then I can use it for more than one thing. Um, open fronted with the little red waistcoat, matching red buttonhole, red tie, the same kind of thing. It's literally just the change of jacket and I would probably wear this with navy gloves as well. Yeah, and this jacket I also wear out hunting and obviously for side saddle and evening performances but i will move on to evening performances short kind of with the hacks the show ponies um, the park breads you'd have a brow band on your pony usually red navy blue white they're just the general colors used and i would try and incorporate colors from the brow band into your outfit um, my pony used to have a red white and blue brow band so i just have red the blue check in the shirt um, and it just kind of ties it all in. This is a little bold. Um, not everybody loves this much red. So potentially swap, take the buttonhole off um, and just swap for a cream waistcoat. It's just a bit of like playing with outfits to see what looks right, if that makes sense. And now I have evening performance ready. So an evening performance is basically um, once you have done your class in the daytime, if you can first or second, you're invited through to a championship 
And if that championship is in the evening performance, they'll usually have a thing to say like, evening attire, you know, it's an evening performance, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is the kind of thing you wear for an evening performance. So you swap to a stock with um, your navy or black wool jacket. Um, you just smarten things up, really. Um, I usually have my hunting whip if I'm on Finley. And to be fair, if Johnny gets through to any evening performances, I'll probably have this too. Um, just carrying it like this. Looks super, super smart. Um, and yeah, it's not much different. Um, just your stock with your stock pin, same jacket. I generally, if I'm going to a show where there is an evening performance, but you're not sure if you're going to get through, just take all your stuff with you. Um, and if you get through, then you've got it. You can also wear a top hat um, in an evening performance if you are over 18. Just read the rules and be very careful because sometimes it's not acceptable. I will just swap and get my top hat on. Um, so this is my top hat, um, which is just a felt one. I don't love it. I feel like I look like the fat controller from Thomas the Tank Engine. I also thought I'd just get out some of my jobbers and show you my collection. So these two I would wear with Finley in like mountain and moorland classes. Um, they're a lot yellower, as you can see. These are the ones that I were just wearing in the video and I wear these for like everything. Um, they're my favourite ones. But yeah, those two I kind of stick on in evening performances because I think they look really good on camera. Right, that sounds really weird, but uh, yeah. And um, Mountain of Moorlands, Junior Riders go for more of that shade. These three shades are more for your adult classes. Um, I love this colour, this sand. These ones are like a very pale yellow. And I actually, these were white and I dyed them myself by putting yellow dusters in with them. Um, and I quite like the colour. It's just very subtle. And then these ones are really pale um, just because they're quite old. And they're more of like a traditional hunting breech colour. Yeah, so I like all three of those shades. But I do prefer the sandier just shades. Just touch up on in hand as I haven't really mentioned that much. Yeah, these are my in-hand trousers. And basically, you wear in-hand trousers that are kind of like opposite to your horse's legs. So if you've got a grey, you don't want to be wearing like sandy, light-coloured trousers. If you've got a black horse, you don't want to be wearing dark trousers. So with Finley, um, these would look fantastic with the first jacket with the brown tie, um, my flat cap. Um, with Donny, I think I used these ones last time to kind of stand out against his black legs. Or I could have worn the green. I've also got um, these dark purple ones. These three are cord. These are moleskins. I don't like skinny fit trousers, personally. And I don't like jeans. I just think it doesn't look right. Um, just paired up with... A pair of short boots, like short little leather riding boots. Um, and yeah, they're just like, I think these are all from charity shops, bar these ones. They're like proper moleskin um, show trousers that I've had absolutely forever. And you can wear these with some sort of flat cap. You can wear it with your hard hat. Or you could wear it with some sort of... Um, like groom's hat my groom gets to wear when they come in the ring um so you could wear that too that sort of style hat um but i think for juniors they have to wear a hard hat again just check on the rules so i'm just going to finish up by doing a little bit of a hair tutorial on how to get your hair neat and tidy for the show ring um to start off with i've got the world's tiniest hairbrush and i'm just going to pull it all back into a very low ponytail and get that nice and tight, nice and low. And then I would hairspray all of this. Um, so there's not, so it's very slick and tidy. Yeah, so I might put that in for an evening performance, but I think it does look a little OTT. Um, this is more my vibe. So slipping in the bum ring. Now, 
for the sexy bit, the hairnet. Um, some people just tie it round the actual bun section, but um, yeah, for me, I like to put it all around here because I get a little wispy bits and then I tie it again around the actual bun section and then we're going to get another band. See what I mean about wispy bits? Like, I just get those little wispy bits. Um, and then I'll secure it with band. Loads of hairspray on the top, which I'm not going to do because I don't want my hair to be cement for the rest of the night. On goes my hat. Um, as you can see, like my hair is pretty low, but yeah, I'm actually going to put my bow under the hat. But yeah, that is my show hair. I really hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog and there was enough information. If you do have any questions, pop it in the comment section. I know I've only just touched the tip of the iceberg of showing. There's just so much I could go on and on and on about, but I didn't want to make the world's longest vlog. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the fashion show. See you all next week. Bye.